Have you ever pondered if a monkey hitting keys at random on a typewriter keyboard for an infinite amount of time could eventually type out a complete work of Shakespeare, say Hamlet? This is the crux of the infinite monkey theorem, a concept that challenges our understanding of probability and infinity. Now let's take this idea a step further. Imagine all the particles that make up our universe constantly in motion, always shifting and changing. Given enough time, is it possible that these particles might return to a previous configuration? Could the universe, in essence, be in a state of constant reincarnation, forever repeating its history? The randomness and chance involved in these theories make for a fascinating exploration of the nature of existence and the infinite. Yet, to truly grasp these concepts, our journey must begin with a fundamental principle of physics. If left to the whims of time, could our universe find itself in a loop of constant reincarnation? To understand this, we must first delve into a fundamental concept of physics, entropy. In 1865, a German physicist named Clausius introduced us to a concept that embodies the inherent chaos of a system, entropy. This concept, which sounds so simple, is actually a measure of disorder, of randomness, of the inherent chaos in a system. Imagine a cup of piping hot tea. As time passes, the heat dissipates, the tea cools down, and what was once a comforting warm beverage is now just a lukewarm liquid. This is entropy in action, or consider an old house that's been left to the elements. Over the years, without maintenance, it falls into disrepair, its orderly structure giving way to disorder and decay. That's entropy. Even your neatly arranged room, if left untouched, will become a chaotic mess over time. The books will gather dust, the furniture will start to wear, and cobwebs will form in the corners. All examples of entropy, the gradual shift from order to disorder, and it's not just these everyday examples. This law of entropy increase, often referred to as the most despairing law, reveals the ultimate evolution of the universe. From the birth of stars to their eventual death, from the formation of galaxies to their eventual dissolution, all are governed by this law. This concept of entropy and the second law of thermodynamics, this relentless march towards chaos, underpins not just the small everyday changes we see around us, but the grand cosmic events that shape the universe. The second law of thermodynamics, the law of increasing entropy, underpins the inevitable march towards chaos. It's a law that governs not just our daily lives, but the lifespan of stars and the universe itself. So. Where does this leave us in our initial discussion about monkeys, typewriters, and the reincarnation of the universe? We've journeyed through the infinite monkey theorem, pondered the potential for a universe in constant reincarnation, and grappled with the law of increasing entropy. These concepts intertwine, suggesting a universe that may be destined to repeat itself in a cycle of chaos and order. While the destiny of the universe might seem bleak, it's the understanding and exploration of these concepts that keep our curiosity ignited. After all, isn't the pursuit of knowledge the greatest adventure of all? As cosmic time ticks on, black holes will ascend to prominence, their gravitational dance becoming the universe's main spectacle. These cosmic behemoths with their insatiable appetites will engage in a ceaseless ballet of mergers and absorptions, their activity shaping the very fabric of space-time. Should civilizations endure into this distant epoch, the outskirts of these black holes may serve as their final energy bastions. As the universe ages, all matter not ensnared by the relentless gravitational pull of black holes will slowly decay and disintegrate. The once vibrant cosmos will be reduced to a stark tableau of photons and black holes. Their silent interplay the only testament to a universe that once teemed with galaxies, stars and planets. Yet, nothing in the universe is eternal. In a universe measured in trillions of years, even black holes have their expiration date. As invincible as they may seem, black holes too will not last forever. Picture this, within the void of space, positive and negative particles are created from nothing, appearing in pairs for a fleeting moment before annihilating each other. This is the uncertainty principle of quantum mechanics at play. 
Now imagine if one of these particle pairs forms near a black hole. One particle may fall in while the other escapes as radiation. This is Hawking radiation and it's through this process that black holes over trillions of years will gradually evaporate until they finally vanish. But what happens when the last black hole disappears? All that will remain are photons. The universe's last vestiges of matter and dark energy will continue to push the universe to expand. The universe reaches a state known as heat death, where all matter achieves thermal equilibrium. The entropy or disorder of the universe stops increasing. When the last black hole disappears, the universe will be left with only photons, gradually cooling towards absolute zero. Is the ultimate destination of our universe really a heat death? This is a question that has haunted many minds, but French mathematician Poincaré proposed a different perspective. He introduced the concept of the Poincaré return, which states that in a closed finite system, given enough time, all matter will return to its initial position. Imagine a container, half filled with gas, the other half a vacuum. Once the barrier between them is removed, the gas expands to fill the whole volume. In this scenario, the entropy of the gas increases because the gas molecules now have more possible locations, more possible arrangements. But according to Poincaré, given enough time, this gas will eventually return to occupying just half of the container, its initial state. This cycle of expansion and return could happen infinitely, suggesting a different fate for our universe. So is the universe destined for a heat death, or will it experience an infinite cycle of Poincaré returns? Only time will tell. In the words of the brilliant physicist Richard Feynman, the universe is like a great chess game, and we are all mere observers trying to learn the rules. Picture, if you will, a grand ballroom. Each atom in the universe is a dancer, moving in an unpredictable, random fashion. They twist and turn, pirouette and glide, ceaselessly in motion. This constant dance gives rise to the universe as we know it. Now consider the vast number of dancers. There are approximately 10 duovigintillion atoms in the observable universe. That's a one followed by an astonishing 82 zeros. Imagine for a moment all these dancers returning to a past choreography, to a moment frozen in time. The odds of that happening are incredibly slim, yet improbably does not mean impossible. The universe is a stage of infinite possibilities, and so the odds of the universe returning to a previous state may be slim, but they are not zero. An intriguing thought, is it not? Now let's delve into the concept of Poincaré recurrence, an idea that suggests the universe might be caught in an endless cycle of rebirth. Picture a clock striking midnight, the hands resetting to start a new day. This is a simplified analogy of Poincaré recurrence, an idea that posits the universe, like the clock, resets and starts anew. This concept, while fascinating, isn't merely a conjecture. In 2018, researchers at the University of Vienna confirmed Poincaré regression in quantum systems. This groundbreaking research implies that the universe, in its vast and complex expanse, might be subject to a cycle of cosmic reincarnation. What does this mean for us? Well, if the universe is indeed caught in this perpetual cycle, then every moment of our existence, every joy, every sorrow, every triumph, and every mistake is destined to play out again, and again, and again. If Poincaré recurrence holds true, then every experience, every mistake, every moment in our lives may be destined to repeat itself endlessly. But what does this mean for us, living in this seemingly infinite cosmic dance? Our understanding of time, of past, present and future is turned upside down when we consider the possibility of an eternally recurring universe. If every atom in the universe can, given enough time, return to a state it once held, then is time not a straight line but a loop? And what purpose does time serve in a universe without observers? A universe that simply exists, eternally changing and yet eternally the same. This view of the universe also presents a fascinating perspective on life and existence. If the universe is destined to repeat, then so too are we. Every joy, every sorrow, every triumph and defeat we experience may be just one of countless iterations. We are not only living our lives in this moment, but we have lived and will live them again and again. In the words of the great philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, 
Time is a flat circle. Everything we have done or will do, we will do over and over and over again, forever.